We are back with another eyeshadow review. You guys have no idea how good it feels to actually have eyeshadow palettes to review. There was like a lull in eyeshadow palette releases and then boom, boom, boom. We've had like five in a row. They're all rose tone palettes. So uh, we have kind of another rosy, pinky, mauve palette to review. But I'm excited about this one because I'm telling you right now, it is more beautiful in person than it looks online. Artist Couture launched their third Supreme eyeshadow palette with this style packaging and 12 shades. So I ordered this off of the Sephora website. I'm trying to get this up as soon as possible because you can get it at a discount if you're a Sephora VIB member right now before the sale ends tomorrow. So if you want it, that's definitely the best place to get it. But it is also available on the Artist Couture website as well. So this is the box that it's going to come in. The Supreme Mods by Artist Couture. It's a very simple box. 12 month shelf life, cruelty free and vegan, bulk made in USA assembled in the Dominican Republic and here's the list of ingredients if you do need to pause and take a look at it and then the packaging is going to be the same as the supreme nudes palette and the other palettes that have launched and we have the same information on the back here it is a magnetic closure you have a mirror right here and then here are the 12 shades so we have a mixture of mattes shimmers and metallics so there are three main finishes in this palette take the look you guys one thing I'm noticing from looking at it on the website compared to in person I think the colors are definitely more punchy this palette is prettier in person than it is online particularly you guys know the bottom row it's much more purple I feel like in person than it is online the matte shades up here look pretty true to color online but this row definitely runs more purple and then this shade is a little bit more bright and punchy in person. So that's just kind of how it would differ. I was super excited about this palette because I love the Artist Couture palettes in these formats. But so many rose palettes have launched recently that I wasn't super excited about the color story. I thought it was a nice addition, but it wasn't necessarily a color story that I was excited about. But in person, so much more beautiful. Just in case you picked up any of the palettes recently that have launched, so you can see kind of how the tones compare to one another. Here it is compared to the new Patrick Ta Rose Dimension 2 palette. The top two rows kind of similar in terms of mattes. Bottom row is very different on the Otter Couture. And then another one that I have out on my table here that also just launched is the Melt Cosmetics Gemini 2 palette. This one is definitely much more warm. These two are a lot more different. So online, they describe this palette as modern mauves so that was the inspiration here so let's get to swatching so i have overexposed risque provocative and then stripped down so if you look this is kind of that more nude row right here which is really gorgeous Look guys, my pinky finger nail broke. Okay, so this shade risque, lots of dimension here, and then I noticed strip down wasn't giving me much. I'm gonna do a second coat. Definitely added more, but the shadow feels a little bit more kind of on the drier side to me. Not in love with that. Okay, let's do kinky, lust, audacious, and obscene. These are more in the rosy tones. The mattes are kind of close, right? Tones are different, but similar depth levels. This swatched a little disappointing to me as well. The shadows just seem a little drier to me. And then my favorite row, Royale, Sex Appeal, Seductress, which is more of a shimmer. Huh, I'm gonna feel my older palettes to see if they all feel a little dry. That's pretty. Sex Appeal, while it looks really glimmery in pan, and it is glimmery on the arm. It's definitely not as glimmery as I thought it was gonna be. That's crazy pigmented. Okay, so these are definitely mauve shades, leaning more mauve purpley as opposed to all the rose tones that have come out. Really, really pretty though, but I'm gonna grab my older palettes to see if I notice a change in the feel and consistencies. Why is there so much honking going outside? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, false alarm here. I am feeling Supreme Bronze and Supreme Nudes, and these also are a drier formula, so. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure 
that they swatched like that, that this wasn't a new formulation. But no, I, I think they definitely are the same. So Artist Couture is just one of those formulas that I feel like applies better than the swatch. So I'm gonna do this eye and we'll see what we think. I'm excited. I had quite the interesting experience with this palette. Uh, let's get into it. This is a look now. If you're new to my reviews here, I mean, I try to create the prettiest looks that I can, but I'm more focused on trying as many shades as possible. So I'm gonna start off with a refer number 27 and we're going into overexposed. It's a nice matte shade. You can see it's a little powdery, so make sure you tap off your brush. Now for me, this isn't exactly a highlight shade. It's a pinker tone and it's like a shade deeper than my skin tone, so it doesn't necessarily highlight under here, but if you're deeper than myself, which is not hard to do, <laughs> then this will work as a highlight, but for now, I'm just gonna have it peeking through the entire look. So that matte is great. Then we're gonna go into Provocative over here. This is a really nice mauve kind of dusty rose shade. I guess more mauve than rose, but I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. This actually is deeper than it looks in the pan. I've blended it out so it's a little softer, but you can get some depth with this. Again, like all Artist Couture mattes, blending really beautifully and really smooth. And then I'm using the same brush and I'm going into Lust right here because I wanted to see how these two shades that I just put on my crease deferred. Again, these are really powdery. I should have just tapped my brush off before I went in there because I got messy. And you can definitely see the difference, which I'm happy about because I don't love how many shades in this palette are within the same depth level and they're not too far apart in tone. So you wanna make sure that you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. You want them to be different and they definitely are. This gives a very different effect than this one right here. So that's great. The undertones are definitely strong enough here and then if you wanted to go for something more brown as opposed to rosy you do have these options here as well I'm gonna say across the board the mattes in this palette are super duper nice I'm very happy with the matte quality in here they're pigmented they're blendable just tap off your brush because they can get a little powdery but they're going to work for you and that's awesome so we're gonna go into Royale right here and this is gonna bring more of a brightened pinky element to the look and you can see how that totally changed up the look so this is also a really great shade and I went in with quite a light hand and it really is kind of transforming this look so really happy that this is in the palette as well this can take it from day to night from neutral to colorful so I love this shade and then finally the last matte we're gonna use is prestige this feels a little like drier but the quality on it is really really beautiful so you can see you get quite a lot of depth with this you can even use this as as an eyeliner. I'm gonna blend that out. So very easy to use, very happy with this shade as well. And you can even make it deeper if you so wish. And I am getting a little bit of fallout from the mattes, nothing crazy. If you're a little bit more responsible and tap your brush off, it should be less messy. Okay, let's get into these shimmers. I'm gonna tell you up front, the shimmers in this palette aren't my favorite. Now, like I said, Artist Couture shimmer formulas in general, they feel a little drier, but most of them apply it just fine. I don't like the formulations he put in here I think there are too many glittery shades and the glittery shades they just don't adhere to the lid like I would like they they don't have enough of a creamy base to really stick to the lid so the glitters kind of get everywhere it's really messy in the other supreme palettes there's a lot more shimmers there so the shimmers are going to allow you to get more of a pigmented base like look in the supreme bronze this is really the only glittery shade the rest are the shimmers so they lay down enough pigment they're not messy same thing in the og supreme nudes palette this one the only true shimmer that kind of lays down a pigmented base is this one but it still has some more glimmers in it so you'll see what i mean i really have to like dig and press to get what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna start off with this shade right here, which is the most kind of traditional shimmer formula in here. But it's pretty, I'm not mad at this shade. I think this shade, it's pretty. There's really nothing to it. I think it's a nice addition to the palette. 
It's nice, I like it. It lays down that base, great. We're gonna go into Obscene here, which is the glittery formula. And I want you to notice how I have to kind of like dig to get enough of the product to get color down. And I actually love this shade in this palette. I love that it adds a warm element, but I'm getting a mess underneath my eyes. It's just a drier formula. I don't love the shimmers here. And that color is fine as well. So then I'm taking Sex Appeal and this shade to me it's just underwhelming compared to what you see in the pan. I want you to take a close look at the brush. Do you see how it's just really piecey and messy? And I'm gonna apply this to the inner third of the eyelid. I feel like what you see in the pan is not as exciting on the eyelid and it's really, really messy. And I'm not gonna show you this one. I tried to apply, okay, I guess I will. The Risqué, this looks super gorgeous, right? It is the messiest shade. I can not get it to adhere to the eyelid really so I'm just putting the glimmers kind of everywhere I've got a little bit but when I tried to put it on with a brush over here it just got everywhere there is no real base to it I just feel like I'm picking up pure particles of glitter yeah I don't like this shade I think it would be nice if you use a glitter glue. I don't know, I'm just not in love with the shimmers in this palette. They're too messy, they're not creamy enough for me, they make a mess on the eye. It's gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but I just think there's a better balance of formulations in the first two palettes. I don't like the selection here as much in the formula they decided to go for. Let me put on some concealer. Okay, and then on the lower lash line, we're gonna use some of Royale. Love this shade. It's one of my favorites in this palette. I just think it's so pretty and transforms this palette. And then we're gonna go into Prestige. And then we're gonna use Strip Down. I'm gonna put this right here just so you can kind of see what it looks like. It's a bit of an underwhelming shade. Again, I just want a really classic creamy pigmented shimmer. And it's pretty and you can build it. I think I'm in a bad mood today. I don't know, <laughs> I'm not happy. And then we're gonna go into Obscene. Put it in the middle. How pretty is that though? That made the look so pretty. Okay, let me do liner, lashes, all that good stuff, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. <laughs> the final look with liner, lashes, the whole getup. It is a gorgeous look. It's a purpley look, so you know I love it. So here are my final thoughts on the palette. I like it, but I definitely don't love it. It's not my favorite artist couture palette. I highly recommend Supreme Nude, Supreme Bronze over this one, even though I like the color story better. But the shimmers, they just aren't the best. Not my favorite. In terms of all of the palettes that launched recently, I think the Patrick Ta palette is better. I'd recommend that over this one. I do think though, I like this better than the Melt Cosmetics Gemini 2 palette. The Melt Gemini 2 palette, I have a whole review on if you wanna check that out. It was just too grungy and deep for me. The shimmers were also too dark for my preferences. Like this is a palette, even though I'm being super picky because this is a review channel. I just realized my mirror was in the way. This is a palette that I will get use out of because I do like the colors. I like the looks that you can create, but it's $45. But actually, of all the rose palettes that I reviewed lately, this is the best value. I'm not saying that it's cheap, but Melt is expensive, Patrick Ta is expensive, Charlotte Tilbury is expensive. This is the best value and I do like it. But if you do want it, Get it on a discount and just know what you're in for. It's a gorgeous palette and I do love the color story, but I just hope as usual with my reviews that this video kind of allowed you to create a more mindful purchase. Yeah, you got it? It's very odd because I feel like I gave this palette such a negative review, but I actually do like it. It's just disappointing because to me, I am O oh, in my opinion. It's not as good as the ones I've launched recently. But anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you and that you enjoyed this review. Thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video so that I can continue to do what I do. <laughs> and I will catch you guys in the next one. I guess have a good one.